This is my finest hour. Smuggling a case of Napoleon brandy through the South Pacific right in the middle of the war. <laughs> I'd like to see the Japanese top that for naval strategy. Eh? Now, Commander, when it comes to something underhanded, you're the man I'd want in my corner. Now, now, Carter, you know what I always say about flattery. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Beasley! Look out! Look out! <laughs> oh, no! Commander <laughs> Adrian! Are you all right, sir? Lieutenant Morgan, do you know what that is? Brandy on the rock? Sir, <laughs> is there anything we can do? Yes, Lieutenant, there is. You may apply for a transfer back to the States immediately. This is all your fault. My fault? Of course it's your fault. You distracted me. You distracted me. And, and, and besides, you're out of uniform. I said it before, and I will say it again. Women do not belong in a combat zone. Sir, perhaps it would be easier if you just think of us as men. Man. Sir, uh, this signal just came in from Comfleet. Uh, it's about the war. Please, Trotter, not while I'm eating. <laughs> sir, oh, Crep Suzette without brandy. That's absolutely uncivilized. <laughs> Those waves. Trotter, in one day, they destroy more fine liquor than Carrie Nation. Uh, I hate to be pushy, sir, but this is urgent. Uh, see? The expedite. Oh. Uh, we're to supply a task force on its way to join the fleet in the Coral Sea. All right. Expedite, expedite. Trotter, you're my executive officer. I want my fighting men to have everything they need. <laughs> oh, make a note, Trotter. I'm down to my last bottle of ruby port. <laughs> Aye, sir. Is that all, Commander? Yes. Unless you can find some loophole in naval regulations permitting me to transfer the waves to a leaky submarine. <laughs> now, sir, uh, even you have to admit they're an efficient motor pool. 4.0 all the way. That makes it all the worse. If there's one thing I cannot stand, Trotter, it's an efficient woman. I married one. <laughs> This port deserves a good camembert. Try to make a note. The next plane that leaves for New Caledonia, have the pilot contact the French consulate. <laughs> oh. Every time I think of that brandy, it's like my own blood on the ground. <laughs> Those ways, they're, they're more trouble than the Japanese. No, oh, sir, they're only doing their job. Well, you heard what Lieutenant Morgan said. Treat them like men. <sighs> Treat them like men. <laughs> that will be the day. Treat them like... Men. That's right, Trotter. That's exactly what she did say. She said it, didn't she? You heard it. You will be my witness. I will treat them like men, Trotter. I will put them through such an intensified program of combat training. They will be on their very knees, begging to be transferred back to the States. Where is my book on Navy training, Trotter? <laughs> Feet are killing me. Fuck up, sailor. You're in the Navy now. Navy? What Navy? I joined up to be a frogman. 
Somebody goofs in the Pentagon and I wind up in this petticoat outfit. Oh, quit driving, Mary, and at least you're the only way who doesn't have to wear a girdle. <laughs> Detail? Halt! According to the map, there's a supply drop up ahead. That's where we'll spend the night. All right, let's move out. <laughs> That. This tent's full of holes. We couldn't pitch it anyway. There aren't any ropes. So where's the food? What are we going to eat? Here it is, shipmate. What is that? Looks like a skinny matzo. <laughs> Our survival rations. A list of edible berries, roots, and small insects. Compliments of our peerless leader. Insects? That does it. Bobby, where do you think you're going? Lieutenant, if I can't find something better than ants to eat, I'm going over to the Japanese. <laughs> all right, all right. Give me the walkie-talkie. Lieutenant Morgan, your supplies are perfectly adequate for any male unit. Make do, Lieutenant. Make do. <laughs> <laughs> it's working, Beasley. They're beginning to crack up. No, sir. I, I just love it when your little eyes light up like that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Still, something is disturbing me, Beasley. I can't imagine what, sir. No, I... Your plan is a masterpiece of psychological warfare. Yes, imagine sending those poor defenseless girls into the jungle with no food. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good <laughs> Oh, look, sir, look. Now it's beginning to rain. Beasley! That's what was disturbing me. It wasn't raining. <laughs> Oh, this is no good, Lieutenant. What's the matter? Doesn't the nail polish close up the hole? Sure, but it's the wrong color. It uh, clashes with the tent. <laughs> Just make Molly McGuire report it. I've collected all the eatable vegetation I could find. Lieutenant, I'm so miserable. I could really die almost. Oh, McGuire, I know you're hungry and wet and tired, but we all are. Oh, it isn't that. I just did my hair this morning. <laughs> hey, will somebody give me a hand out here? That's you, Kowalski. Aye, aye, Lieutenant. Oh, what's the problem, Mommy? Grab hold the other end of this. There you go. You know something? Marion's really lucky being a man. He rates his own poop tent. <laughs> uh, that's pup tent, lovey. Poop means tired. Well, we're just as tired as he is. Why should he rate? <laughs> Sorry I mentioned it. Hey, <laughs> boy! Great White Hunter is returned, and I've got some game. Beat on the table. Here's our dinner. Marion, you're a lamb. Ah! Oh, Marion, you creep. Why are you some kind of cowboy or something? What are you doing? He wants to eat our mascot. Your what? Ma mascot? Please, Lieutenant, can't we keep him? So helpless. Isn't he cute? Doesn't he have a sexy profile? <laughs> like sort of a reverse curb Bob Hope. Well, I... I guess we could use another good man in our outfit. All right, let's get with it and bed down early. It's a long hike back in the morning. We've still got a full day's work ahead of us. Oh, gee, Lieutenant, I haven't walked so far since they lengthened the runway at the Follies. <laughs> what, what are these survival hikes for, anyway? Oh, according to advanced training procedure, it's to teach us to stay alive in the jungle. Well, that may be what it says in the manual, Molly, but I've got a hunch our leader is trying to kill us. He wins. I'm dead. <laughs> Well, now I've seen everything. Sleep workers. <laughs> Where's Roberta? <laughs> hey, what? Good morning, fellow waves. All right, Botnik, where have you been? You better make it a goodie or you're going to go on report. Subject goofing off. Parish forbid, Lieutenant. You told me to make our little mascot a home away from home. So I went out in the jungle, I got his very own little nest. Spotnik, I take it all back. You've got a heart bigger than your stomach. No more for this little bird. I got a whole new attitude when I found his nest. See, Daisy? Look. Oh, what a darling egg. She's gonna have a family. Please, Lieutenant, can I get her some bird seed? Well, she's expecting. Why not go all out? Get her bird seed, ice cream, pickles. <laughs> 
A baby in our barracks. Isn't it thrilling? Oh. Well, Lead Pants Adrian won't be thrilled. Oh, don't worry, silly. He won't find out. Don't worry. Your baby will be born safe and sound. Baby. Isn't that sweet? A baby. <laughs> Commander. Commander, this is urgent, sir. Urgent. Uh, uh, Congresswoman Phoebe Hamilton is coming to Ranakai to inspect the wave unit. Oh, that's nice. What? What? The hell? what? Inspect the waves? Uh, yes, sir. Oh, inspections, Congresswomen. It will never stop, Trotter, until we get rid of those waves. When's she coming? Uh, she's flying in at 1100 tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, tomorrow morning. There you are. That's a woman for you, Trotter. Always breathing down a man's neck. <laughs> nag, nag, nag. Why me, Trotter? I was always a good boy. I'm always a big tipper with a chaplain. I just... <laughs> Why me? Sir! Sir! It's, it's my duty to report that one of the ways... One of the ways... Is going, one of the ways... Oh, I just can't say it right out. No, okay, I'm here. Why don't you try saying it right out? Well, sir, I, I mean, sir, uh, uh, let, 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 let me just put it this way. Uh, well, you see, see one, one of the waves, one of the waves is disrupting a little stranger. More waves? Trotter, why didn't you tell me that congresswoman was bringing reinforcements? Uh, it's, it's not Lieutenant Trotter's fault. I, I, mean, I, I mean, sir, what it is, what it is, is, is the... One of the waves is, is going to have, is, is going to have a B-A-B-Y. B-A-B. What? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I, I was skulking down by the motor pool and I heard them talking about it. Well, do you know which one it is? Me? Right here on my base. Why, it's, it's un-American. <laughs> a baby wave. <laughs> oh, doesn't that sort of grab you, gentlemen? Doesn't that makes me go all jelly inside? <laughs> Wait till that congresswoman hears about this goodbye wave. Sir, but, 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 out, Trotter. Beasley, I am going to recommend you for a citation. You brought me definite proof that the wave experiment has failed. They definitely cannot replace men. I agree. Get back in your cage. Hi. Come on, Betty. Come on. Hey, come back here. You can't leave now. Help! Stop that bird! Help! Stop that bird! What's the matter? Come back here. Hey. Oh, she's scared. She's never going to come back now. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. She got out while I was feeding her. Well, we still got our little mascot to be. Yeah, but what good's an egg without a mother hen to sit on it? Not to worry, ladies. You're looking at an old farm boy. I'll rig up an incubator. Don't you worry, little stranger. Uncle Marion's gonna see that you get born. You're gonna sit on it? <laughs> Where's Roberta? She went over to the motor pool to watch Marion build the incubator. She says she just can't understand how a machine can sit on an egg without breaking it. <laughs> how do you like Junior's bassinet? Uh, Molly's running up a little blanket for us. Hey, aren't we going a little far out? I mean, after all, it is only a bird. Oh, it's more than that, Lieutenant. It's the first baby born in our unit. And the last, I hope. <laughs> Come in. Ted, hut! Oh, no, no, now, now, now. At ease, ladies, at ease. I just stopped by to cancel your morning hike. I would like all of you ladies to be in the... Uh, uh, what's that? The vest? Yes, it's, 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 it's just a basket, sir. Oh, it, it, it looks sort of like a little bassinet here. Uh, uh, well, you, you see, Commander Kowalski's sister is expecting, and uh, that's it. And, and naturally, she wanted to send home a, a little gift. Oh, naturally. Oh, 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 and I suppose you're knitting a little something for your sister, too, eh? Well, <laughs> Actually, she's knitting it for Kowalski's sister. It's sort of a, a package deal. <laughs> <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs> Isn't somebody missing? Uh, machinist mate love, sir. She's out. I can see that. <laughs> she wasn't feeling too well, so I told her to stop by sick bay and get some pills. <laughs> oh, so she's the one. 
The one that isn't here. Well, now, when Machinist Mate Love comes back, you make sure that she gets right into bed. Night, ladies. <laughs> Okay, Molly, turn it on. Try it, Roberta. <laughs> Come here, you little rascal. We're gonna get you born yet. <laughs> Tubing and my helmet and the I'm not asking for an inventory. Move! Shut up! <laughs> I gotta think of some way to stall them or we're gonna be right out of the Navy. Oh, no, I don't wanna go back to six shows a day. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are the men still at mail call? I'll stall them up the road some way. You help Botnik get rid of the monster. And McGuire, you let us know just as soon as things are all clear here. Come on! High hips love rise again! <laughs> May I express my pleasure, Miss Hamilton, at this visit by a lady so charming, so delightful. Let's get something straight, Commander. I detest flattery. I'm here on business, and my business is the way of this. How many are there in uh, Lieutenant Morgan's unit? Well, at the moment, only four. Are they expecting more recruits? That is the very word, Miss Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> Expected. Congresswoman Hamilton, I'm Lieutenant Ann Morgan in charge of the Wave Unit here. Welcome aboard, ma'am. Oh, thank you, Lieutenant. I've come a long way to see what kind of a record you're making for the waves. <laughs> Attention, men. Attention. Congresswoman Hamilton is here from stateside to bring you news of the home front. <laughs> Oh, no, Lieutenant. Oh, I please, ma'am. Oh. <laughs> How do you do, boys? <laughs> yeah! I didn't understand it. All I said was hello. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen, for this most enthusiastic reception. <laughs> I don't have a speech prepared. Uh, how would you like to hear about the tariff bill I'm sponsoring? Yeah! <laughs> Marion, you've just got to tear it down. It's Lieutenant Morgan's order. I wouldn't do it for Admiral Nimitz. The egg's starting to jig a little. It'll hatch any minute. And so my tariff bill will cut the excise duty on beet sugar at least $500,362.40. Yeah. I 
had a reaction like this before to my financial report. <laughs> Brilliant speech, uh, Miss Hamilton. Nothing short of br brilliant. Now, shall we proceed to the motor pool? Just a minute, Commander. Uh, Miss Hamilton, I'm sure the boys would like to hear more of the same. Oh. Boys, if you'd like to have more, uh, let's hear it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, and now, let's see. Would you like to hear my amendment to the Rivers and Harbors Bill? Yeah. Here they come. Everything absolutely spit and span. I must say, Lieutenant, you run the top ship. I believe that's the nautical expression. <laughs> Not quite as taut as it might appear, Miss Hamilton. As, as, um, where is machinist mate love? Uh, machinist mate love? Oh, well, mm. she's busy as elsewhere, sir. Well, I'll just bet she is. <laughs> Lieutenant, this has gone really quite far enough. Miss Hamilton. I must inform you that these waves have flagrantly violated your trust and mine. What are you talking about, sir? You know very well what I'm talking about. I am happy to, I mean, I regret to say <laughs> that one of these girls... Lieutenant, it's here! Lieutenant! Lieutenant, it's here, the baby! <laughs> well, Commander, I guess you caught it. I guess I did. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bacon. A yellow bill, two con, junior grade. <laughs> Don't pull yourself together, Commander. You were just about to make a serious charge against my girls. Oh, no, no. Uh, no, I, I was. Well, uh, actually, uh, 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 Miss Hamilton, I, I was just babbling incoherently. It's a, a touch, a, a, a retouch of an old tropical ailment. I. I uh, that's the baby. <laughs> baby yellow bill to come. Oh, wait till I tell my Ordnance Society group that I saw a newly hat to come. Well, you don't have to tell them, Miss Hamilton. You can give them the little fellow. Oh, Lieutenant, that is wonderful. <laughs> I want you to know, you have a real friend in Washington. Well, thank you, ma'am. And I want you to remember that also, Commander. In fact, when I make my report to the Military Affairs Committee, I'm going to recommend that you be replaced by a whale as soon as one attains sufficient rank. <laughs> Cheer up, sir. You don't have to start packing your wine cellar yet. It'll take me a couple of months to get that extra stride. 